soldier's still alive. Are you okay? Where does it hurt? My lady. It's me. It's Karine. Die. How can you be so sure? You're no doctor. I saw the same thing. The exact same thing in Yokohama. <gasps> that means... This is the work of the Queen of Ice. But I'm not about to let this turn into another Yokohama. Come on! Body. Queen of Ice! No, my lady. This is a sword wound. A sword? You're right. Hey, isn't this... Baron Hartson. Hartson? The one manipulating the resistance? What happened? Why is he dead? <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Rygar. Oka. I knew you'd show up sooner or later. <laughs> Time to finish our... Fight! You fool. Why haven't you seen to your wounds? And why is Hartson dead? Because I killed him, of course. He was weak. He changed his mind. He wanted to align with the king again and fight the Devil Golem. But there is no going back. There's nothing left for me now, aside from defeating you, Rygar. Stop this idiocy! Take a look around, okay? Shut up! No one is going to interfere. My lady, go on ahead, please. Rygar! I know I should not ask to be relieved of my duty to protect you, but I must settle things with Oka by my own hand. Rygar. Very well. Come on, Atsuma. Are you sure? We're going. Atsuma, come on! Okay. Now that they are gone, the stage is set. Oka, I have such regrets. What? When we were young, we were so close, you and I. How did that turn into this? Where did we go wrong? Can't we go back to those days of training together? Those simpler times. Rygar! <laughs> too late, my brother, too late! Maybe if you'd offered those words back in Kyoto, maybe! Now defend yourself, brother! No more words! Let our swords speak! That is how it has always been between us. Very well. Come on then, Oka. Strong indeed, Rygar. It's not that I want to be strong. 
I have to be. That's the difference between us, isn't it? Oka. Now, Rygar, finish me. I cannot. Naive to the last. Why can you not see that sometimes a little mercy is called for and you leave me no choice? My lady! <laughs> Oka! <laughs> Why? This was the only way to get you to kill me. At least I got to choose how I die. This is farewell, brother. Oh God. Rygar, come on. Green. his brother. Quiet! What? Rygar, staying here, regretting this, would be to disgrace Oka's death. Accept this, and move on. As you say, let us go.
You're a little late. Father! Milady, wait! Why, you? How dare you lay a finger on my father? You'll pay for this! Car... Kareem... Run! You cannot... defeat a devil golem. So says your father. But what do you think, Gurno? Silence, creature! Let go of my father! Or I'll kill you! How frightened you are. Oh, very well then. Here. <laughs> Have him back. No! No! <laughs> what a tragedy. It brings a tear to the eye, doesn't it, Toya? Yes, my queen. No matter how splendid a father, no matter how splendid a king, he's just a lump of meat once he's dead. Shut up! You dare to insult him too? Oh, don't wear such a scowl. It makes you look so unattractive, princess. You hate hysterical women too, don't you, Toya? Yes, my queen. Queen of Ice, I'm going to kill you! Even if it costs me my life, I'm going to kill you! Very well then. Let us pick a suitable spot, shall we? How about in the Inferno Temple? I'll be waiting for you in the Royal Chamber. Let us go, Toya. Wait, Toya! Oh, you poor thing. His heart and mind are mine now, don't you see? <laughs> well, child, I'll be waiting for you and your right arm. Toya! My lady. Come on, Rygar. In the name of Kareen, Princess of London City, I shall avenge my father's death. As you say. Thank you. 
give you a few seconds. We can't fire! Water! The Inferno Temple! It is where the London City Devil Golem, the Emperor of Fire, is sealed away. And that's where the Queen of Ice is waiting. From the look of things, we're going to have to earn our passage. <laughs> Who are these goons? The Queen of Ice's underling golems. Bah! We don't have time for this! Indeed, you do not. Huh? Who said that? Allow me to aid you. You again! The handsome guy from Yokohama! We meet again, senorita. But we do not have time to enjoy this happy reunion. Huh? You fool! Pathetic. Rest now, eternal darkness. Uh, amazing! He took them all out at once! I wanted to hurt them myself! Then I most humbly apologize, Bambina. What? How dare you treat me like a child! Please, no need to get angry. Aren't you in a hurry? Gratitude is one thing, aggression is quite another. Indeed. Let's hurry. Who are you? Concerning your friend, Toya. Huh? Please, save him. You are the only one who can. How do you know his name? Just who are you? We don't have time for this now. Come on. But... Okay, okay. This will be over soon.
Golden Temple is just ahead. But this isn't working. A member of the royal family must insert the Magikor for it to work. Huh? Nothing happened. Impossible! I'm doing it just as I was told. You think something's wrong with the Magikor? Like it's a fake or something? No! Be quiet for a second! The lady, calm yourself. How can I be calm? I must avenge my father! I can't afford to be hanging around here! Hey, Kareem! It started working! Odd. We can get going again. What was the problem then? Probably... Probably what? Uh, no, nothing. After you, my lady. This is the Inferno Temple. It's inside the dam. Kareem, where's the royal chamber the Queen of Ice talked about? The royal chamber is at the heart of the temple. Okay, so we'll just keep going until we get there, right? That's where Toya is. <laughs> so glad to see you again, Emperor of Fire. I have a little job for you, okay? Though I do hate to have to part again so soon. It has been a thousand years, after all. Don't think badly of me, okay? We both have to prioritize our commands, after all. That is, I suppose, the whole reason we exist. But whatever happens, we know better than most that it will all be the same in the end. Everything is meaningless, like a Midsummer Night's Dream. Isn't that right, Toya? Yes, my queen. Oh, my darling boy. Isn't my magic or just delightful? Yours will be here soon, Emperor. A slightly uh, excitable magic or. Listen to me, Kareem. We of royal blood must never enter the loyal chamber ahead. Never. Father? Why are royals not allowed inside? It should be the other way around. No, Kareen. It should not. So long as they do not hold the magic core, anyone else may enter. Because they would be unable to revive the Devil Golem. But we, descendants of the ancient royal line, are different. Because our bodies can become a Magikor for a Devil Golem. I could be a Magikor? But what about the Magikor we already have? Well, we may call it a Magikor, but really it's a replica at best. Created so that a Devil Golem can be operated without sacrificing human life. So what's the difference between using a replica and a human? In ancient times, a human Magikor was able to exert some control over the Golem. But time has passed, and royal blood grows thin. I doubt the same could be said now. Especially you, Kareen. A royal descendant you may be, but your royal blood is diluted. If you were to become the Emperor of Fire's Magikor, you might be swallowed up, your identity extinguished in a second. Perhaps your mother could have controlled it. I don't know. I'm just a poor substitute for her, aren't I? Say something, father. Even if it should cost me my life, I will never allow this devil golem to be revived. Kareen, you too must swear to it. Yes, father. I swear, in the name of my mother. Kareen, what's wrong? It's nothing. Huh? So. Going to this loyal chamber place is all very well, but can your arm really defeat Queen of Ice? I, I don't know. It could just make things worse, but we have no choice. That's so reckless. Maybe we should just revive the Emperor after all. Set one monster against another. That's not for you to decide. I was just trying to lighten the mood, okay? There's no need for levity right now. Kareen, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll do something. Thank you. My lady, 
No more wasting time. To the Royal Chamber. <laughs> 